guys. Okay, we're off again. Not feeling 100%. We had a big day yesterday. It was Bathurst Day for those of you who aren't into car racing or from overseas. Bathurst is the biggest car race in Australia each year. It's held at Mount Panorama and uh, it's a pretty big thing. So we had a bit of a shed party to watch Bathurst. We had a few beers, we had a barbecue and there was about 20 of us there and there was a lot of people talking a lot of shit. Obviously not me, but a few of my mates. But uh, I need to get a video out. So we are heading down to Narung, which I've been there before in the houseboat just over a year ago, but uh, we've never camped at the campsite in the van. So that's where we're heading to. So I'll put a map up, show you exactly where we are. I'll probably do a bit of a drone footage as well. But Narung is right on the edge of Lake Alexandrina which is the lake that the River Murray flows into, and it's also right near the Narrows, which is a narrow section leads you through to Lake Albert and the same lake that uh, Meningi is on. So, and there's a little bit of history around that area, so I'll go through that all again, just in case you haven't watched my video from about a year ago. We're gonna have a bit of a cook up. Well, we're doing pizza, so hang around to look for that one. We got Billy coming down. Billy has been on a couple of my trips before. He's going to meet me down there. Best known for when we camped on the river and we blew up the can of braised steak and onion. And that's actually just to my right, uh, just above Wellington. And I think we cooked pizza that night too and it was a bit burnt. I think might have given him about a 5.2. But we're going to do better tonight. We'll hopefully do better with the pizza. I've got a couple of plans up my sleeve. We'll chuck the fishing right in and uh, we'll show you a bit of history about Narung and the sur surrounding areas. So uh, it's about time I turn the camera around, show you what I'm looking at, and if you see the lake out to the right in any of this video coming up, that is Lake Alexandrina, and we head down there until we can go no further and we will come to a ferry. Remember, always wave to the ferry driver and as soon as you cross over the ferry, we are at Narung campsite. So uh, we're going to turn the camera around now, show you what I'm looking at. And that also means it's time to start the music. So this is the Narung Ferry, out to the left is the Narrows which takes you to Lake Albert and from memory it's probably about six kilometres, something like that uh, long and leads you to Lake Albert and out to the right is the bigger lake which is Lake Alexandrina which is the one that the River Murray flows into. We've got a new ferry operator. I haven't seen this one. Hand signals are very good. Let's check out the wave. She did the one finger wave. You don't see that very often. Wasn't that impressed with the wave? At a rough guess, this ferry probably saves about 70 or 80 kilometres if you wanted to go to Narung. If it wasn't here, you'd have to drive around Lake Albert and go through Meningi and then right back up around the other side. Very smooth descent. I don't think descent's the word. Coming in nice and smoothly. Probably going to just lower those jaws a touch. Here she goes, lower them, and bang, very good landing. Now just to check out the wave again, I'm hoping we get a little bit better than the one finger wave. 
wasn't really impressed with that. Okay, we go. Oh, she tilted the hat. You guys probably didn't see that. She did a little bit of a tilt of a hat to me. So that probably made up for the one finger wave. Pretty impressed. Overall, ferry operator, 9.2. And here we are. As soon as you get off the ferry, you've got a little campsite to the right. Looks like there's a guy about to leave. Or he's just rocked up. You've got nice toilets there to the left. A little shelter shed. And I don't know how wet it's been in here, but it should be okay. Now this is all camping area. You can have a fire. We'll try and find a spot where we're out of the wind and hopefully close to the lake. So this is the small town of Narung. I think they've got a post office just up there to the left, which used to open just a couple of hours a day. Although it looks like it might have uh, closed. Professional fishermen over there to the left. So I'll just go and have a look at Raukin, which is an Aboriginal community. Didn't used to be able to get in, into this when COVID was on. They had it blocked for locals only, but I think you can get back in now and have a look. And it's, as I said in my video about a year ago, it's famous for two things. One is David Unapon, who was an inventor and a lecturer. I think he invented the first mechanical sheep shears and his photo is on the Australian $50 note and the other thing about Raukin is the church is also on the $50 note although on the later ones it's a lot smaller but uh, we'll go and check the church out back behind it as we started you would have seen Lake Alexandrina out to the right I think there's a hill we can get up to and check it out. But uh, we'll go and check the church, which is up there to the left. I'll spin around so we can film it a bit easier. And there you have it, the famous Raukin Church. And that's looking out from Raukin. Adelaide Hills pretty much straight ahead. Mount Barker. And then around to the left, I think it's Point Sturt. Which, there's a channel that runs right through the middle of the lake. And you go around Point Sturt to get to Goolwa. And out to the mouth of the Murray. So I think this is where I'm going to camp for the night. As I said, we've got that northerly coming in. It'll probably change around to a bit of a westerly. So that's coming from straight ahead. So we should be a little bit protected here. Got another van just pulled up over the other side. Got a lady, looks like she's by herself. She's just got a little tent with all the cooking stuff in it. Looks like she sleeps in the car. Not too sure about that one. Toilets over there, little shelter shed. ferry back behind the reeds and straight ahead is the 
Point Malcolm Lighthouse and Point Malcolm Lighthouse is the only inland lighthouse in Australia and it's also known as the smallest lighthouse in Australia the jetty here and if you're new to my site maybe check out when I pulled in here with the houseboat had probably one of the scariest nights in my little houseboat trip on about my first night getting across Lake Albert and the wind came up and I didn't get any sleep at all he was thinking of flying away and I remember that night it was pouring with rain waves were probably two or three feet and I was stepping out here tying the ropes I had ropes breaking slipping on pelican poo bit of a crazy night there we go Billy Billy's caught one caught a nice Murray Marlin I had one bite but it got off the size of him and I still can't catch one he's huge but we'll cook that one up someone uh, requested cook one on the open fire so we'll do that as an entree later on been a beautiful day winds dropped right off Dorothy M. This boat's been here for a few years. I don't think it's moved either. So this is all fresh water down here. That's the Narrows. Got professional professional fishermen leaving their boats here. And they're mainly after carp in the lakes and they sell that to the cray fishermen as bait down the southeast robe kingston around those areas okay sitting here campfire going we got billy over here we've got a carp here that we caught which I've gutted we're gonna cook that had a request from the last video to cook up a carp in the open fire so we're gonna have that as an entree I think it's gonna be pretty bloody rough great little spot here and Billy who lives at Tail and Bend never knew much about this spot so another one of those little spots that uh, unless you're out camping all the time you probably don't know about it but it's a great little spot but uh, we're gonna get this carp cooking and then we're gonna have pizza later on that's the plan anyway but it looks like we're gonna be going into the dark a bit even with daylight savings but uh, we'll get something cooking up in a minute okay guys pretty sure we're gonna stuff this up we're on the open fire it's been gutted and I bled it cut through the gills let it bleed a bit we're going to get this till she's uh, burnt on the outside with the scales and then we'll flick it back. And the bit we want is just in and around in there. That's where you get no bones. bit of salt
so it's not bad I'm only going to give it about a 5.2 a lot better if you fillet it check my other video where you can fillet that belly bit out put some lemon pepper seasoning on it for 20 minutes or so cook it in some butter and uh, it's a lot better but uh, this way it'll get you out of trouble but uh, not a real lot there to eat so here's the first pizza bit of a meat lovers ham bacon looks like it's leaning to one side <laughs> we'll sort that out in a minute some tomato cheese top and bottom we'll get the lid on what I've done different this time I've made that little trivet thing I made up I don't know a few videos back when I cooked the pork so I've got it off the bottom and we'll get the lid on a few coals on top and we'll see how she goes so there we go got her all cooking up a little bit worried how we're going to get it out but <laughs> we'll sort that out later on I'm going to have a scared of the dark medicine I'm sure I will come up with a plan hey Billy Okay, we don't want this one to burn, so we're going to give it a quick check. Pardon me. Hang on, we don't want that falling in. We'll get that back. Balance, balance. It's leaning one way a bit, but right. we'll sort that out. Another five minutes. Yeah, a little bit longer. Must have had on a bit of a lean. Tomatoes falling off, but we're getting there. Okay, let's see how we're going here. We're pretty confident we're going to be about right. Oh, that's looking good on top. Let's hope the bottom's not burnt. <coughs> Slide a bit of the tomato back here. Now, Billy, any plans how to get this thing out? Oh, actually that's... We'll get her out. Right, here we go, the big uh, test underneath. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. Just just cooked enough. We like a good undercarriage. There's my little trivet. I thought it might have stuck to that, but it uh, came off pretty good. This is looking sensational, guys. Okay, second one's looking pretty bloody good too. okay guys food review now it was pretty good but there was a bit of a cooking taste there and i reckon that was from when i when i cleaned the camp oven and then sprayed it with canola oil to stop it from rusting so there's a little bit of a taste there but it's still bloody good better than the burnt ones i'm, st I'm still giving it 7.4 i'm got too scared to ask billy <laughs> So, come Billy, quick, quick one. 7.1. 1. That's our review. So I had a little bit of spare time, so I just whipped up this little apricot tart. Looks pretty good. Food review coming up. Apricot pie review. 9.6. That's my review. Okay, good morning everyone. We're up nice and early. We've had a little bit of rain this morning. Billy's packed up. Tidied everything up around here. Got another camper over there. I was going to go and check out the lighthouse, but it's windy. A little bit of rain around. The old lake's a bit rough this morning. So uh, that's going to do this video. If you want to check out more about the uh, lighthouse and that, the video I did at the start of my houseboat trip back about a year or so ago, I go for a walk up there. But uh, we're going to head home and uh, I can start getting the editing done so I can get this video out tomorrow. Don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment, it helps the channel. See ya.